I am uh, David Lukashadena. I'm 20 years old and I'm currently studying to be a professional pilot. We've known each other for a long time, yeah. since we went to school. And uh, essentially, uh, your goal is to fly a big Boeing or an Airbus, right? With a lot of people. Uh, yeah, that would be the plan. That's what I'd like to do. How do you feel about, well, essentially flying a massive plane and being responsible for a lot of people? I'm honestly really excited because like a lot of my colleagues uh, from school, they want to fly business jets and private jets. I just want to get, I want to fly the biggest plane I can. That's knowing like it's hundreds of people can sit in there and it's just me and another pilot in the front. That's, that's, it's kind of mind blowing to me. But essentially, we'll be flying from here, which is Hradec Kralova, mm -hmm. to uh, then we'll go over here to Snishka, kind of where the parachute is there, the paragliding parachute, mm -hmm. that little kind of triangle. And then we'll go further towards, uh, this is Liberets, right here is Yeshjet. Yeshjet, the big tower. Yes, the big tower. And then we'll go here. Um, you can see these dots uh, were right here. So yeah, I think that's the route we would do, and we can try drawing it if you want to. Sure. Cool. Can you just draw it in a straight line? Yeah, yeah draw it in a straight line. This is our track. Mm -hmm. This isn't the route we're going to fly. Okay. So I think everything's good. Um, any stress? Healthy stress. Healthy stress, I understand. <laughs> Healthy stress. So tell me about your first time flying a plane with an instructor. What was that like? T tell me about that whole day, because I'm sure you remember it. No, I remember it quite vividly. I mean, because it's your first flight, you, you're not doing everything. So you try to do as much as you can, but there are just always going to be gaps. And uh, the instructor fills those gaps. What was that moment like? You were in the air, in a plane, and you get the controls for the first time. It was bumpy. <laughs> It was like really bumpy, I realized. Uh, but yeah, when he said your controls for the first time, and I said my controls, and you know, I realized at that moment, I was in complete control of that plane, or at least I thought I was. Um, it was kind of an incredible feeling, you know? You, you really, you, you want to turn, but you know, you know that these, uh, a pair of eyes are staring at you at your every motion because you know he doesn't know what you're gonna do and so you're trying to be gentle and stuff but at that moment I just wanted to turn I just want to go Were you ever scared of flying? I mean, I think a lot of us are afraid of things we don't understand. And so a lot of the flying um, 
that did scare me was only through turbulence, for example, because I didn't know where it came from. But I think for a person like me, uh, statistics always helped. You know, the idea of like, this is the safest way to travel. You saw yourself, you know, how much work goes into just an hour flight. Imagine you have two bags. One is full of knowledge and experience, and one is full of luck. And as you start your flight career, you start taking things from the luck and you put them into experiences and knowledge. Well, one day your luck's gonna run out and you hope that that bag of knowledge and experiences is enough uh, to suffice whatever unlucky situation you get caught up in. Because you're going to have, something's gonna happen. That's just, it's Murphy's Law, you know? Lights on, master on, keys in, left side clear, center clear, right clear, behind us is no one, right, left, both, and start. Okay, no one's checked on the left, so left side clear, check on your right, right side is clear. Cessna 150 in front of the General Aviation Apron, POD 2, PIC Dana, and it'll be a departure towards the north. Awesome, you'll go to the mic. So the day of your first solo, tell me about it. <laughs> it, was, that was a, it was a good day. It was in the afternoon, so um, I got to sleep in a little bit more. I went with uh, my mother and uh, my friend. Did you take them for like mental support? I didn't take them for mental support. I took them for them to take videos of me. I didn't care. I was doing it for the gram. I mean, uh, no, I'm joking. But it was, you know, just a way to show a little bit of my passion, you know, to, um, you know, it was kind of a big milestone. It's the first big milestone of my flight career. And I hope the first of many, many more. It seems like you weren't very nervous for it. I mean, if I was nervous, I wouldn't fly it, you know? You, 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 don't, you don't step into the plane nervous thinking, let's, I hope I can do it, or let's, you know, I'm crossing my fingers, nothing happens, because, <laughs> you know, you have to be confident in, confident in your own abilities to fly the actual aircraft. And when you took off for the first time solo, without anybody there to help you if anything goes wrong, how did it feel? Was there, was there any sense of fear at all, or is it like you're just so used to it that... So when the wheels left the ground, I didn't feel anything. But there was, I think, 15 seconds after where I was maybe, say, 200 feet in the air, uh, which was our flaps up, lights off altitude. So we check the speed, put the flaps up, and turn off the landing and taxi lights. Um, I have to admit, it was kind of like this feeling of, oh crap, I'm here alone. And it was just like second of like fright. And then it just became, I was just overwhelmed with like, just happiness. You know, like, I got here. Runway identified, we're good. And we're going. We're good, lights on, make sure ridge, everything good. What would you say was the happiest uh, moment in your journey so far? I think I'd have to be taking, uh, taking my girlfriend up, the first passenger up that flight. Um, because, you know, you can talk about it for hours at home to the point where she was sick from hearing it, understandably, really. Uh, because, you know, once I start talking about aviation, there is no shit off valve. Um, it just goes, whatever I think goes blah. So it just, it's just a, a regurgitation of information that, in terms that she has no idea about, poor soul. Um, but it was finally to show her my passion. And so she can just understand it just a little bit more why I talk about it for hours, why I'm, you know, passionate about it. 
And, you know, once I was in the air, I was finally able to show her uh, things that I see. You know, before you were kind of just like, oh, that's cool. And then you're like, and you look to the right, no one's there. But this time, you know, like, oh, that's really awesome. And she asks you, what is that? And you're like, I have no idea. <laughs> but it looks cool, right? Let me orbit around here. Right there. Let's right there. That is so cool. Wow. I'll, I'll do an orbit. Give me a second. Here. Wow. I'll do one to the right so you can see it better. There's snow. You want to try flying it for a second? I don't know, man. Is that safe? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's completely legal, completely safe. Technically, I have control the whole time. Don't touch the engine here. Essentially, the engine's set. So I only touch the... Yeah, you can just do this. So you can try... Okay. Essentially, you can do it with the foot pedals as well, but I'll do it for you, so just so it's okay. a little more sensible. Okay. So if you want to take... It's your controls. So if you want to go up, you pull. It okay. goes up. You want to go down, push. Yeah. Push it down, don't worry. The speed's fine. Uh -huh. Now we're descending. You can see the speed descending, the vertical speed. Wow. You want to turn to the right? Turn to the right. Uh -huh. This is crazy. I'm actually flying a plane. Yeah. Wow, you're flying exactly there. Nice job. Perfectly there. Well, I mean, I have a big hill to aim towards. Yeah. Mike taxiing via Bravo Alpha to the General Aviation Apron. 